students uh, welcome to nak academy today we are going to discuss uh, the chapter binomial expressions uh, which is the chapter number 4 in your textbook so in this uh, chapter we are going to cover uh, two sections one is the product of uh, two binomial expressions and the second section is uh, finding the squares of a binomial expressions so at the end of this lesson you will be acquiring skills on multiplying two binomial expressions and expanding the square of binomial expression so in this video i am going to cover product of two binomial expressions so before moving to the chapter let's uh, do some uh, review exercises for your understanding so let's say i take an example question as 2a multiplied by 3 so this is you are more familiar because this chapter we are learning from grade 9 onwards so 2a multiplied by 3 means you get 2 multiply by 3 is 6 6a so let's go to another example uh let's say minus 2a so i'm going to multiply minus 2a by minus 3b So since we have the operator minus here, we need to consider the product of uh, the operator or the symbol as well. So minus multiply by minus is plus two multiply by three is six, and the terms a multiply by b is ab. Therefore, my answer is plus six ab. So further, we'll do a couple of examples. Let's say x plus three. I'm going to multiply by x minus two. So, as you already aware, what we do is we take x and we multiply this x with the whole bracket uh, x minus two. so we x we take x and we multiply with x minus 2 then again plus 3 we multiply by x minus 2 so if i write that step x multiply by x minus 2 then plus 3 multiply by x minus 2 so now i'm going to expand each term given here so first x multiply by x so you get uh, i'm going to multiply x by x so that is x to the power 2 or in other words i say x square x square then the symbol for x is plus plus into minus is minus 2x so that expansion is done now i am moving towards the second bracket plus 3 multiply by x that is plus 3x then again plus into minus is minus 3 multiply by 2 is 6 so now i am going to write the final steps of this question so that is x square Minus two x plus three x. So already you aware about integers. Minus two plus three. So as I explained in my uh, previous video of this particular chapter for grade nine, you can see you can always consider minus as something credit you have taken, and plus value is the money in your hand. so that logic will makes easy for you to simplify these integers so minus 2 refers your credit so you have 2 rupees credit 
and the money in your hand is 3 rupees so the balance would be 1 rupee which is the money in your hand therefore that is plus so here you, you write the term plus 1x or you can write x and minus 6 so this would be the expansion of the binomial expressions x plus 3 and x minus 2 so uh, let's do one more example let's say a minus 5 I'm going to expand with a minus 3 so as I mentioned you earlier first we multiply a uh, we multiply a by a minus 3 so we multiply a by a minus 3 then again minus 5 we multiply by a minus 3 so here now I'm going to expand the terms so a multiply by a is a square again plus a carries the plus symbol plus into minus minus a multiply by 3 is 3a then we go into the next term which is minus 5 multiplied by a is minus 5a then again minus into minus refers plus and 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 so my answer would be a square again the integers now minus 3a and minus 5a are similar terms so I, I can simplify this so as I mentioned you earlier so you can take minus 3 and minus 5 separately minus refers your credit you are owing someone so you are owing 3 rupees and again you are owing another 5 more rupees so all together you are owing 8 rupees so that is minus 8 so you can mention minus 8a plus 15 so these are some of the uh, example questions that we did in order for you to understand the section which we are going to discuss today which is the product of two binomial expression so this example also refers the product of two binomial expressions but today we are going to discuss the terms which takes in the form of 2x plus y so what is this form of 2x plus y which means expressions something like this 2a plus 3 you are going to expand with let's say a plus 2 so the previous example what we did here all is with the the first the very first term is always an unknown term but in here the f the form takes in a different way we get the algebraic term with a number so that is why we refer this as it takes the form of 2x plus y so now it's time for us to expand this algebraic expression or the binomial expression so the method is <coughs> always it is same so as I mentioned you earlier first you multiply 2a with this whole bracket then again uh, you multiply 3 with this whole bracket so if I write the steps 2a multiplied by a plus 2 again plus 3 multiplied by 
a plus 2 basically this uh, step is not must to write always since uh, at the beginning stage of the questions uh, you can write these steps once you get familiar by doing these questions it is not uh, required to write you can do uh, this question with mental calculations so now I'm going to multiply 2a by a so which means 2a we are going to multiply by a that's equals to 2a square so we get 2a square so the first term is 2a square for this part for this number which carries with a square we give a special name we called it as coefficient of a square so we called it as coefficient of a square we use the term coefficient coefficient of a square is uh, 2 so remember the term coefficient so let's uh, keep uh, expand this term or this expression then 2a multiply by 2 that is plus 4a So the first two terms I have already multiplied. Now we can further expand this binomial expressions. 3a, 3 multiplied by a is 3a. Then the last term is 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Now you can see there are two similar terms which is 4a and 3a. So now I write 2 a square 4a plus 3a is equal to 7a so here coefficient of a is 7 also coefficient of a square is 2 plus 6 so this is my final answer for this particular expansion so only the difference what you see is for these terms they include questions with plus and minus uh, symbols so you have to always uh, more careful when you are multiplying the operators with their respective algebraic term so let's take another example uh, let's say 2b minus 3 multiplied by 2b minus 4 so this also another binomial expression which takes in the form of uh, rather I am saying 2x plus y I, I would say a x plus y it takes the form of a x plus y so because here the value is not always 2 so I might include here as 3 or 4 or whatever the number depends on the question so now let's expand this uh, binomial expression 3 b first I am going to multiply by 2 b minus 4 then the second term as I mentioned you with the previous example minus 3 you expand with this particular bracket which means minus 3 multiply by 2b minus 4 so 3b I am going to multiply by 2b so 3b multiplied by 2b 
refers first you multiply the numbers uh, so first you take the numbers and you multiply the numbers 3 multiplied by 2 which is 6 then you multiply the letters whatever the letters a b o c but in this example it is b so b multiplied by b refers to b square so therefore the first term would be uh, 6b square that is 6b square then the second term now you have to consider the operators as well 3b carries a positive symbol though it is not mentioned by default if the symbol is not mentioned it is positive or plus plus you multiply by minus so you get minus so minus 3b multiply by 4 equals to 12b now let's go to the second term which means now I am going to multiply minus 3 with 2b so minus 3 or minus multiply by plus is equals to minus 3 multiplied by 2b is equals to 6b then the last term would be minus into minus that is plus 3 multiplied by 4 is equals to 12 so as you can see there are two similar terms minus 12b and minus 6b I can simplify it so as I mentioned you earlier minus refers to the credit the credit or the amount you are owing so you are owing 12 rupees and again you are owing 6 rupees so all together you are owing 18 rupees which means minus 18 so your final answer would be 6b square minus 18b plus 12 so this would be the answer for this particular binomial uh, expression so uh, these type of questions also they can include decimal numbers and fractions and uh, mixture of both also possible uh, and they might ask you to expand those expressions so I will be discussing some more questions uh, which include decimals and fractions with the second video of this chapter so you can uh, take your textbook and before you start doing exercises based on the binomial expressions which takes in the form of ax plus y as I have included here you can first practice the review exercise which includes questions something similar to example 1 2 and 3 so there are 20 plus uh, questions which are included in your textbook which is under chapter 4 so you can practice those questions and you can uh, try exercise related to product of two binomial expressions so my next video I will discuss binomial expressions which includes uh, fractions and the integers with a positive and negative uh, numbers so uh, thanks for watching this video and please uh, like and share this video also subscribe my channel NAK Academy for uh, to get latest update of these uh, lessons for grade 9 10 and for 11 uh, thanks for watching.